the only one that was surprised by the fact that I, you know, I was almost able to shove my fist up that moose's nose. So. <laughs> yeah, it really scared me. Uh, you shouldn't walk up to them like that, though. What, up to a moose? Are you scared of mooses? No. no, I had a friend when I was a kid who got his thumb bit off by a horse. He was feeding it straw and it just clipped it right off. Wow. Yeah, and that was a tame animal. Imagine what a wild animal could do. Plus, a oh, moose is like one bigger than a horse. <laughs> it's one bigger? Is that the technical term? Hey, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it really sounds fascinating though, you know, your measurement of animals through numbers and sizing, you know, almost like a shoe. <gasps> Here, you want to give me your backpack and put it in the trunk? Okay. <sighs> hey, could you grab me a water bottle? The water? Yeah. Okay. So honey, what do you want to do today? Want to go see a movie? Go shopping? Are you hungry? Come on, let's go get your mind off things. How am I supposed to take my mind off this? Jill, it's been over a month, all right? You need to move on. It's not healthy to dwell on these things. You just don't get it, Rob. Jesus, I'm trying my best here. What are you... Come on, let's go get your mind... Look, I'm sorry. But come on, let's go get your mind off this. Come on. Hey, Jill. Rob, we need to talk. Yeah, what's up? It's over. I can't go on like this. What are you talking about? Us, Rob. We're over. Where's this coming from? I mean, whatever it is, I can fix it. No, Rob. You had your chance. We're through. Jill, I...
Look, I've realized what's been bothering you. I think I know how to fix it. I understand that you don't want to speak to me ever again, but I'm going to be coming by later, and I just need to see you one last time, and then I'll leave you alone. Look, I know you don't believe me, but I love you. Goodbye. No! This is a place that I call 